Today we are finally gonna be catching a Cuda, a Barracuda. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time. We're gonna be catching a Barracuda for the saltwater pond. It's about to be epic. Now this video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There is no safe like Simply Safe. Let's get into it. Everyone in here is doing fantastic. We're actually about to fill up the water a lot more today. We've been letting it sit for a while, but I'm thinking I'm gonna fill the water up to like right here at the very top. After uh, we get this all said and done, I'm gonna fill her up all the way. And um, the, pot, the fish are doing all fantastic. We might be able to feed that Tesselata today. We have not seen him eat at all once. And you guys have been waiting for that guy to eat. He's kind of hiding in the rocks right now. You might be able to see him from here. There he is. Right there is his head. Chilling right there. That's Gucci boy. He is super aggressive and I'm excited to see him eat. But first, we gotta catch that Cuda and then we need to stuff these guys until there's food coming out of their mouth. Literally, pots and pans, they love underneath the rock, but as soon as food gets in the water, it's over. They, they just crush. And you guys know what happened last time we put a Cuda in the pond. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pans ate him. What's his problem? Guys, Pans just ate the Cuda. We don't want that to happen again. No. Let's do it. I want to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love Simply Safe because it gives me the ultimate peace of mind. I've had a camera in the garage for a while now, and every time I go on trips, I can always check on the camera, look at all the tanks, look at all the ponds, make sure there's no fires, make sure all the fish are good. I'm also installing the doorbell and a bunch of other cameras all around my house, and it's all on one app. So it makes it so easy for me to just look at all the cameras with the motion detection. I'll get alerts if anything is going on. Simply Safe also has 24-7 home monitoring protection that is now powered by Fast Protect technology. So when a threat is detected, Simply Safe automatically contacts you and will dispatch first responders right away. Now, isn't that the ultimate peace of mind? Yes, it is. I absolutely love that feature. It costs less than a dollar a day. That might be the best part. 99 cents for like the best of the best. And there's no long-term contract, so you can start and stop at any time with absolutely no hidden fees. Gotta love that. I'll tell you right now, when I did install my camera in the garage and I plugged in the little, the hub, and it says, Simply Safe on. I'm like, holy cow, there's a force feel around my house, I feel so good. So here's my camera right here. I'm gonna show you guys how I installed it. They gave me like, a, they, they give you the mounts and everything for it, but it's magnetic and this is metal. So I just stick it onto this, for the garage one at least. The ones outside I mounted, but the, the garage one, this is like the perfect angle for me. I've had this here for over a year now and it's just been watching all of the ponds. Anytime I go on vacation, I can always check on the fish and check on the garage and make sure no one, you know, is snooping about my beautiful fish here. Now I'm gonna do a screen recording right here, as you guys can see, here am I. My pond's right here, so you can see the whole window. And then these two ponds, you can see the whole top. I absolutely love Simply Safe. The setup is super easy. They deliver it straight to your door. And I love the advanced response technology to confirm the threat is real and get help there fast. So give Simply Safe a try. It's the perfect summer edition to help protect your home. You guys can save 20% off on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for a fast protection plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash barbsbuzzin to customize yours. Now let's add some fish to the pond, baby. Now we are not going by land today. We are going via boat because around my canals, we got to hit all the canals. The best way to do that is on the water, being on the boat because it's so easy to just drive back and forth. And there's kudas absolutely everywhere in here. And that's what we're after today. It is thundering, so, and raining. Cross your fingers so we're going to be all right. So let's show you guys some bait here. Look at what we got. We got some frisky ones. Look at what we've got inside here. The kudos cannot resist they this. They cannot resist these little tiny pilchards. They are such good bait. We have wire rigs. As you guys all know that the barracudas have teeth like no other. So let's show you the rig. We got so much wire on here. If you fish straight mono, it's like a scissor. This is what we got working with. A nice piece of wire. We're going to put this out with the pilchard and we should get clobbered here pretty quick. Hopefully we don't even have to leave the canal. We were going to troll around today with some of our lures, but we come to the boat, we turn on the boat, we got like 5% fuel and we can't, uh, <laughs> we can't risk running out of fuel. So we're going to slow slowly creep and crawl all down the canals because I gotta fill this boat up and the gas station's uh, a little while away so we don't wanna, the storm's coming. So we gotta get out fishing. So we're gonna use some pilchard today. Time to rock and roll y'all. I grabbed the biggest pilchard in the well that we have. I'm gonna hook him right in the nose just like this. Nice piece of wire and this is all he's gonna look like in the water. Look at this. Oops, we're tangled around the thing but he's just gonna be like that, dancing. Darting around. And the barracudas literally they just- They love that. He might get eaten right yeah, now. They can't resist it. They, they cannot simply resist can't resist it. it. See ya. That's all she wrote, y'all. That's all she wrote. This rod will be bent over here in the next like 30 seconds. It is 11.01. Let's see what time it is when we get that first. Check out that storm. 
Yeah, she's coming right at us, bro, right and us, it's bro. thundering. So. We need a quick one. We need. We really do not. We like, do not really like thunder and lightning. We do not like thunder and lightning at all. Like, that is one thing we don't usually mess with because obviously when we're fishing, you're holding a lightning rod. So we got our eyes always peeled on the radar. You always gotta watch your back, watch the shadow on your own back. Man, real. Because those storms come out of nowhere. Luckily, we're just right by the house. Right. So let's, see. let's get after it. We also got the GoPro 360 to hopefully capture the eat on camera because maybe a barracuda will sky out of the water. It'd be pretty epic. Oh, what is it, ladyfish? Scooter. Perfect. Oh. It's off. No. It just came off. Storm is a Bruin, brother. It's perfect size. All right, we lost one. Huh? We lost one Cuda, but they're here. At least we know they're here now. We couldn't even pull drag. It was so small. No, it was honestly like. It was a thing. Oh, it was. It was the right size. No, it was yes, not. Yes, it was. It's 100. percent Barely. It didn't even pull drag. Well, dude, it's. That's probably why it came off because. There's a lady one. Yeah. Trying to catch a rod, a toothy rod. What? Toothy rod. I'm trying to catch one. It's fucking boring. Raining that sideways. That's real. We're out of here. That was lightning. Punch it. I'm out. I don't mess with the lightning. We'll come back out for part two. When it rains, it pours, bro. Ah! 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 We made it. We're gonna have to wait for part two. All right, we're going out for round two, and Jack saw a huge jack. I think he at just the turned top. around. He turned around. There's pushing wake. I'm not gonna, sure you guys can see that. No, no, it's right here. It's right here. It's right, right there. It's right there. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Come on. Pitch it to him. I just did. I hit the boat. It actually came back and ate. <laughs> Dude, there was like six or seven of them, literally. I'm in the dock. Get out of the dock, bro. That's it. No, 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 no. He's yeah, through the he's ladder. He's, he's through the ladder. He's through the ladder. It's over. Hang on, hang on, hang Get on. Get him out. He's out. He's right stuck in underneath that dock right there. See him? See him kicking? Yeah. He's stuck. Come back out. He's out. Wow, dude, they eat both sides. Literally six of them came all at once. No. He's back in the dock. Get him out. He's pulling. Yes. It's not, he's not that big he's one we saw earlier. No. Dude, even when they're small, they fight hard, bro. It ain't that big one we saw. There's no way. Still a good one. The other one is way bigger. There he is, though. Yeah, no, this one doesn't even compare. It's great shark bait. That's such a good shark bait. You want to keep it or no? Yeah. That's great shark bait, dude. That's good for the chumming video. I'm not putting this thing in the boat. No. We're not scrubbing it. No, let's get on the dock. I haven't even left the dock and I already got one. After the rain special. Yeah, dude, they're fired up after the rain. It's still a decent size. Perfect. Yeah, let's go. Oh let's my go. god. Okay. Look at that, Jack. That's a good one. That dude. is a fatty, yeah. It's bigger yeah. than I thought he was. That's a big, big fish. Well, we're, we're due for a chumming video, so uh and we need bait. Yeah. I think we know what we gotta do with this guy. Yes, sir. Look Hell at that yeah. fish though. Honestly, a really, really pretty fish. I definitely want to get some for the pond, but this guy's probably too big for the pond. Dude, he actually might be perfect. You think? Yeah. Look at that color on him. He's absolutely gorgeous. He might be perfect, dude. There were so yellow. many. Yeah, he's gorgeous. That's he really not even pretty. the big one in there. No, no, it's not the one I saw. Definitely not. Take this hook out of him. Hook perfectly. Of course, you think we should chum with, for sharks with that? Or should we send him home? He's like, I'm out of here, dude. That thing's scary. <laughs> or should we send him home? It's just easier to send him home. All right, let's send him home. All right, let's go. Ready? Head dive. Later, buddy. Here you Get go. out of here. Here you go. Get out of That's here. the luckiest fish. He was supposed to be in the cooler about 30 seconds ago, but you know what? You gotta let one go. You let one We're go, so one then today. we can keep a couple. Let's go. Let's go. Before <laughs> we even leave the dock, maybe we've got Jack's on. Oh my god, dude, it literally startled me. I was holding, I was literally walking in the back of the boat like this, all of a sudden my, I hear poof, and I had a Blew fish it on. up. That's huge. Good start to the day. Let's go. No. All right, live chum. Nice live chum, Jack. Live chum. We just lost a bait. Just live chum. Eight dollar bait, no worry. Just live chum, dude. Whoops. We're not living, you know, like kings over here, man. $8 is a, is a McGriddle and a, and a hash brown. And a hash brown. Okay. It's low tide and the fish, the jacks love it on low tide and so do the kudas. You know, the bigger fish, they kind of tend to swim out. But the jacks are, they're always back here. Because there's one, been a bunch of pilchard in the canal, there's been a bunch of bait in the canal, and they're just feeding on all that stuff. What do we got, Jack? Is it him? I think it's him. Is it perfect size or what? I can't tell, but I think it's him. Come on, Jack. Get him What in. is it? What is it? It's oh, it's a cuda. It's small, though. Oh, is he tiny? Oh, he's tiny. 
He's so small, He's bro. He's tiny, dude. It's miniature. That's like literally a popsicle. Put him on here. Yeah, that's a popsicle. Dude, he's like... That's less than 15, can't keep him. Yeah, it's gotta be 15 to the fork, too. It's gotta be 15 to the fork. Definitely a cool little predator fish, but he is too big, Jack. Too big, really? Or too small. Yeah, he's too small. And it's blowing about 25 miles an hour right now. Yeah. Literally just hauling. Take it easy, buddy. You bite me, I bite you. Exactly, that's the way it works. That's the way the world works, man. There he is. Gorgeous looking cuda. Smells. Probably one of the most disgusting smelling fish <laughs> known to mankind. And we're gonna put one in the pond. Yep. He's too small though. See you, buddy. Dang it, dude. That was the one, but that not. Was the one. Should we circle back? Yeah, we might have to. We're about to crash the boat though. Get it out there, Jack. Come on. That's the cast. We're on. We're on. It is, it is blowing wind right now. Jack says he's on. Oh, there it is. Right when I turn the camera on. Oh my god, it's a minnow. Oh my god, it's another it's minnow. It's a minnow. It's all, it's all baby kudas at this spot. It's dude. a minnow. Oh my god. It's a minnow. All right, hey, we're getting the right species. We're just not the target size. Oh, you just so got close. Bit by I don't even think this one's legal. What do you mean legal? He can't go into anything. No, he's too small. He's too small for anything. Yeah, just like the other one. So crazy. Look at that thing. He's tiny. God. Oh my god, Jack. We're gonna get bit and we're gonna crash the boat again. Hey, we're two for two on that spot though. I think we gotta go back. I think Th so there's too. There's a big one lurking in there. Running low on bait though. Shoot, we are running low on bait. Cool looking fish. Adios. See you, buddy. He's, he should be We're fine. We're gonna crash into the sailboat now. This is this is pure chaos. This is so dangerous because of the wind. Because we're down the canal, the wind is, this is like a wind tunnel. So the wind and the current, because it's becoming high tide now, so it's incoming tide, there's wind and current just pushing us back towards the canal in the back of the canal. So we gotta be careful. We gotta stay vigilant. And we gotta multitask. We're gonna give it our all though. There's a big one lurking. I really hope there is because we're going through minnows and we're running low on bait. Don't be afraid. We're getting killed on bait right Don't now. Don't be afraid. I am afraid. Have, fear no evil. Get the lines back out. Yes, sir. Ah. You missed it and you just lost us a bait. Yep. That could have been the one. Nah, he felt real small. Stay right yeah, here. That was so instant. All right, I think we found where the kudas are. Right by this rock, there's just, they're just stacked up. Dead bait, dead bait. They seem to be flared. Dead bait, dead bait. Intense. Dude, it's not a marlin. Excuse my French. All right, let's see how quick this one is. It's on a dead pilchard, so this one didn't make it in the live well. We're gonna see how quick this one gets eaten. Come on, Betsy. Sometimes you gotta make it look alive. Make there it, it is, just like that, picked up. You picked up already? Swear to God. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. That's, this could be the one, Jack. Let him eat it. He's dumping. He's dumping. There it is. That's her. That's her. Is that her? Yeah, I think so. That's uh, her. I can't tell. It better be. Come on, be her. Uh, be her. It's definitely bigger. Ooh, Ooh, that's a snack. You think that's a snack? That is a snack, bro. Dude. It's definitely Dude, 15. That's perfect. All right, let's give it a try. That's perfect. We're gonna have to give that a try. That's like 20 inches. Is it? At least. All right, let's get him in the. Uh, get him in the well. Let's let's put him in the well. Let's put him in a well and we'll do another drift. See if we can upgrade. Okay, all right, all right, I like that. He's definitely over 15, easily over 15. You know, it'd be great maybe if you would get me some pliers. I have pliers right here. See me struggling. We're gonna get that fish in the live well. It's easily over 15 inches, so oh God, that's all day, problem. dude. He's like 22. Yeah, he might be 22. He's big, I can't get my hands around him. I don't know if he's Dude, big. he can hardly fit. We're gonna have to see him next to the pond. Look at him. The aquarium. He's definitely gonna, we're gonna give him a shot. Look at him, he's, 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 he's like the same size as the green moray. Okay, all right, so we're gonna give this guy a shot. We're gonna bring this guy home. I don't know, Pans ate like a 20 incher last time. Yeah, but it was skinny. It was skinny, we're gonna give this guy a shot. He, he, I think he might be able to make it. I think he's good. All right, we are back at the pond. We're gonna show you guys the cuda in a second here. But now we need to stuff these guys to the brim. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we all know what happened last time. Let's try to keep this cuda from not getting eaten. I got a few torpedoes here, a couple ballyhoochies. Gonna go ahead, get these things rocking and rolling. Let me see, one, two, three, I think there's a dozen in here and they all will be consumed. Absolutely. All of them. We're also gonna feed the big old Tessalata too. Look at those popsicles. Those are some nice ballyhoo. And Pots is already sitting there. He sees that and he's like, I know I'm getting fed soon. Pets. Pets. Oh, he's ready, oh, dude. He's so Patsy, ready. Patsy, Patsy. Here you go, you want it? Hold on, not yet, not yet. Oh my God, how? He was being such a good dog. Right, you gotta reward on. him. Huh? Oh! <laughs> uh, not a friendly fish. He actually crushed that. Literally lit that thing up. Let's give him another one. Hands. Hands, Hands is the culprit, by the way. Hands. 
fans. Potts don't, Potts doesn't play games. He just ate one and he oh, eats another one. That's two. God, he does not play games, dude. That's two. The problem is that I'm worried about is the Ballyhoo kind of looks like a bear. Cuda, but dude, the Cuda is girth. Okay, all right, let's hope. Let's see. We gotta give pans a lot. Oh my God! It's raining. Just rain. It's raining in the garage. Rain showers. Let's go. Rain showers for all. All right, and we got to start getting some to pans. Pans' jaw is getting a lot more white, so I'm curious to see if he. Oh my God. Uh, he's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop eating. We're running. Stop. We're running low on ammunition. No way. We're running low. Pants. pants. We're being a sis, he's dude. He's such a baby, dude. He's such okay, a, this fish is blind. He's such a lazy grouper. There like, you go. That's how he eats. There I, you I think go. we gotta, gotta get rid of pants. He's a liability, but he's definitely 100% getting whiter. Yes, last week it was just like his, the outside of his jaw, now it's starting to go underneath his gills. He's going back to a Twinkie. Yep. Look at this boy smoking a, a Ballyhoo cigar. He's got it sticking out of his mouth. I know. He Should I drop eat. this? He wants to eat more. Let him eat it. Jesus, the whole garage is soaked. You yell at me when I bring water in here and now the fish. So. God damn, we're definitely gonna clean this up. Look at that, that's all water. Straight water. All right, we gotta drop this one. Okay, I think he's done. Look at his mouth. The value's still in there. I'm gonna drop this. Hopefully we'll get this thing to. Uh, yeah, no, Pans is definitely done. To Pans. There you go, boy. There you go. Come on, he's looking right at it. Good boy. What to that fish? He's such a baby now. It's so soft. Pot, at least Potts like actually has some some dignity, some no, no. pride. No, Potts He's has got a heart. big old you know what, sack, sack of bolts. Yeah. Pans is a baby, dude. It's like watch my six. I'm watching your six. <laughs> it's such a baby. How close is he? He's close. He's close. I think maybe drop it. Ow. Oh! Oh, oh more eel got it. More eel got it. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's doing the worm. He's taking it down. He's taking it down. He'll rip that thing up. He will yeah, shred. Uh, there he goes. He's got the head. Oh he left my the scraps. God. He left the scraps. That go was crazy. He's going us. back. He's gonna go back for more. He's gonna go back for more. Watch this. Watch this. He's gonna go clean that up. You're gonna put that ballyhoo through the GoPro stick. Mama. Ooh. Shoot. Keep her there. Keep her steady. Look at that Tesla, guys. That thing is so sick. So fired up. Look at him chopping his jaw. He wants to eat. He just can't find it. What Come is he on, doing? Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. The green moray. Are you kidding me? No wow. way. Wow. What? A, you know what? There it is. Not friendly. Oh my god. The green moray. Not deal. friendly. You know how hard I had to work for that to get that to that position for that tesselata. Damn it. Hard. I'm gonna do it again though. All right, round two for Mr. Tesselata. Sugar. Jack, Jack, Jack. He's not eating it. Are you looking He's at He's looking it? at it. All right, uh, let's leave it. it. They'll eat it. Let's try to get our Cuda in the pond now, guys. Let's do it. We got our Cuda. He's in a bucket. Hopefully he doesn't make a mess Are you pumped, Forrest? Here we go. All right, buddy. Pans, I'm really worried about Take pans, Jack. Take it easy. Dude, he's a pretty good sized fish. I'm really worried about pans, dude. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. Let's go. He's a good sick. size, bro. The thing is sick. The thing is sick. Yeah, Don't pans go there. Pans is scared. Pans is scared. Don't pans go there. Scared. Please, pans. Dude, he's a good size. That is a sick little cooler, dude. He's like, the, if you were to actually put him on the tape, he'd probably go like almost two feet. That is sick. If they eat that? I think they are. You think that thing's gone? I think Pans wants to eat them already. But I mean, he has a good size as long as he can stay in the pond. You really think so? Yeah, look at Potts. Potts is pissed. Holy crap. Oh my God, this good is sick, dude. Dude, the good is so cool. All right, if this fails, we need a 30 inch. We need, we need a 30 footer. Yeah, if this fails, we need a 30 incher. So we're gonna give this some time, see how it goes. But if it doesn't work out, we're gonna need a much bigger Cuda, but look at that thing. The thing is so sick. That imagine, is so cool. Imagine when we get to feed him and stuff. He's like a Kang fish, dude. Like a Slama. That is a cool fish though. The teeth, we need that. If that gets eaten, I will be very surprised, but, but we'll get a bigger one. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger sure. one. I mean, obviously it's gonna have to be like a, an absolute freight train. Yeah, it's gonna have to be huge. It's gonna be like the ones we catch during the chumming videos. Yes. Literally. That is a sick Cuda though. He's just chilling in the water column, getting used to his little spot here. That's so cool. Cannot wait to feed this guy. Oh, he's on the top. 
There you have it, you guys. One of the most requested videos down in the comment section. Catch a barracuda for the saltwater pond has just been done. I have a pretty good feeling that it's all gonna be okay. If not, we're gonna have to literally go catch a damn freight train and put it inside of here. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Also, if we wanna maybe go and get a jack, like the one we caught today, maybe we could put that inside of the saltwater pond. Let us know down below in the comment section if you think we should do that. But I hope you all did enjoy today's video and we'll catch you guys all in that next one. Deuces.